It's Malaka time, motherfuckers, and today, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to make some good gold in WoW. Yes, it is a WoW video, and I am sorry I haven't made a video in 2 slash 3 days. I've been doing shit. But, I've wanted to create this video for quite some time, and probably could have created it when it was more potent, but I'm creating it now. So, this is a serious guide. This isn't some bullshit about how you're going to make 50... 100,000 gold an hour, it's it's quite honest. It's quite honest. It's from someone who looks at gold guides and kind of face palms because they're complete shit. So, this gold guide is all about alchemy. Alchemy, I believe, is the way to go. Because, when you make something in World of Warcraft, you have to think, what is it that someone needs all the time, and it diminishes, and they need to replenish that supply? And that is potions and flasks. Now, of course, food can do it. There's probably some good food... Uh, some easy things to farm with that, with cooking, but I haven't found it, nor do I kind of care at the moment, since I do have alchemy. I do have 700 cooking, but besides the point. So with this, you're going to need, you don't need 800 alchemy or 800 herbalism, but what you do need is to get the potions. You have to go through the stupid quest line to get the potions, which is a complete, just, just pain in the fucking ass and all of that. Now with this video, I will show you how to farm each herb and all of that, uh, but that will be later. So what are we going to make with our alchemy? Of course, it's going to be potions and flask, but which ones? Now here's the thing that they introduce in Legion, which is good, but then kind of stupid, is, is that you have these levels here. Now these levels are quite stupid. Mainly you um, you want to get them to level 3. Now I have the Potion of Old War, and the Flask of the Whispered Pact at level 3. Now, the reason you want them at level 3 is because you have a chance to create multiple flasks. So this means that if you, again, if you have, let's say you're going to make 20, you probably have a good chance to make an extra fifth, between like 10, 15 extra flasks, which means more gold in your pocket. Now, here's the thing. Now, you don't want to do Flask of 10,000 scars because no one this is the easiest one dream leaf and and thrill or however you want to pronounce it are the easiest herbs to get and they aren't any worth anything starlight roses of course is the huge the biggest pain in the ass to get which i will show you my route and how to farm it uh but yeah so people usually avoid this and also there's not a lot of tanks in the game so there's kind of no point um for flash of countless armies it's probably just as easy because of anthro but overall, it's still medium because of these two. With the Flask of the Seven Demon uh, is, I don't want to say hard, but it's up there because Farn Skaggle's not a pain in the ass to get, but I will kind of explain it in the video later. And yeah, again, Starlight Rose. Everything requires here seven Starlight. And Whispered of the Pact is actually easy because of Dreamleaf. Dreamleaf is so abundant. Uh, Farn Skaggle and again, Starlight Rose. So we're going to be creating this. But here's the thing, though. I was thinking about this through when I was creating this video, and actually Potion of Old War, I believe, may be the way to go. And the reason is this. So I have it at level 3. Potion of Old War is probably the standard potion that I would... I'm not sure about casters, because I actually don't play any casters, really. Uh, but for melee, and this is a melee heavy expansion with the introduction of Demon Hunters, that... Potion of Old War is the potion to go, and if you're really trying to maximize your DPS and raids and other things like that, this is the one to go for. Now, it only really requires one Starlight Rose, two Foxflower, and two Farns Gaggle for every potion you make. Now, this definitely helps with your time and effort that you're going to put into with alchemy and farming because you can get way more bang for your buck. Now, unfortunately, now you have to be careful here because... You have to watch the prices on your server and find out which one is good. Usually I would tell someone that you could cho choose which one that you, you, I would hope that you have level 3 of and go with that because you can get the most out of it. But also you have to be wary of what is the most expensive one, which one actually sells, because even though it's expensive does not mean that it always sells. So yeah, again, Potion of Old War for me and what I've what I've noticed so far in the last couple days, it's been pretty good. And also with the coming of Tumas Argaris, because this is May 10th, um, it's not coming next week or something, but you know what I mean. Coming, uh, stocking up and getting the potions of old worn some flasks out on the auction house is always good too. And also as a last side note, um, 
was I going to say? You could sell anything at any time. Just like I sold 40 potions of old war while I was recording this video for 500, wait, 5,500 for each. And then I sold 10 flasks of the Whisper Pact for, I don't know what I put them for. I think it was like 1,500. They weren't going that many. A stack of 20 was like 6,400, but a potion of old war was going for um, 5,500. But I got more potion of old war out of the materials that I got than the Whisper to the Sil of the of the Whispered Pact. And what you can do is, is you could farm up Potion of Old War, make a shit ton of Potion of Old War, and then sit on it, and then just go farm other flasks and stuff and get another portion of the market, so you're not just sitting there waiting for your Potions of Old War st uh, stacks to sell. That's kind of how this is going to work. You're going to make a whole bunch of Potion of Old War, then you're just going to make, for me, the Whispered Pack because it's level 3, and sell both of those in conjunction with each other. Also, on a side note, um, you'll kind of see all the Potion of Old War I made, but you're going to sell also these seeds. Um, I don't know what these seeds are made for. They're most like, they're made for the Ancient Healing Potion, um, but they don't sell worth a shit. So I usually sell these seeds. I'm, again, I don't know who uses them. I do believe my phone uses them. Um, maybe inscriptionists use them, but you could sell a 200 stack for about four to 600 gold, and you're farming, while you're farming herbs, you get all of these as well. And so finally, the last note that I have, actually, is herbalism. This is a pain in the ass, a truly pain in the ass, because you need to get ranks to get more, and it's really dumb. So first off, I got lucky. So here's the thing. You'll get the first rank easily. The second rank will probably come fairly quickly afterwards, but trying to get the third is a huge pain in the ass. It is complete RNG. I got lucky and got the Fox Flower, and I had to... F you'll farm a shit ton of Starlight Rose. I'm going to tell you this right now. Biggest pain in the ass ever, and you'll get the third. The third, you attempt to gather Starlight Rose, will always succeed. Yeah, you definitely need the third one, otherwise you're going to be farming twice as long. But you need to farm to get it, so it's just, it's complete shit. But yeah, try to have at least two on all of these before you start farming, and especially for Starlight Rose, you'll definitely need three. Now for the third one, it usually says, mounts quickly have to gather in over the Broken Isle. What is this? Fell Master, what is this one? Gather more materials from each Dream Leaf. The Farnskagel one's stupid. It's really dumb. And also gather herbs in the broken eye may cause additional herbs to appear. Okay. And Starlight Rose, you get to attempt it. But yeah, so with this all in all, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be going now into detail about the paths that I chose and why did I choose them and how to farm each and any one, all of them. And then we are going to make all the potions of war. You already kind of saw a sneak peek of how many potions of war I made, but how much with the materials and such like that. Also, as a last kind of side note, you're going to need flying. Now, you could technically do this without flying like I did uh, back when there was no flying in the Broken Shore, but you're definitely going to... Flying is going to be easier, okay? Especially in places like High Mountain and to get herbs and not try to avoid uh, mobs. And if you do have it, the Shredder is pretty much a GG. If you're a druid, yeah, but the Shredder is the god. It is a worthwhile investment because you can herb with the shred while being mounted in the Shredder, if you didn't know. Anyways guys, we're going to continue on now with the paths that I take and I'm going to teach you guys how to farm the necessary herbs. Alright, so the first herb that we are going to be showing you guys is, I don't know why we said we, I'm the only one doing it, but I'm going to be showing you how to farm some farm skaggle. Now I'm going to go over here with the mouse, we're in Stormheim, we're going to start at this Alliance flight point and you can just see me here mousing over uh, the, the basically the path that I'm going to take and the path that you should take. Now this path uh, I outlined with Tom Tom. Not Tom Tom. <laughs> Not Tom Tom. I'm Gather Mate too. Tom Tom just you know was in my head. Uh, but I very much suggest that you get this add-on. It basically what it does is that once you mine or herb a node, it remembers and it places a circle next to that spawn location and with that you could basically see where all of the farm skaggle spawns when you do all your rounds or something or you fly over a zone or you go through a zone or you herb a lot of shit then you could from that point make a you know make a uh, make a path sort of like I did which is fairly simple 
very very simple now among that though even though you may see a lot of far and skaggle on my map or right now on my mini map like the icon they're not really all that many those are just again the spawn location so you kind of have to fly around pay attention to your mini map and try to fly by them as much as possible and then once you see them you just go up and mine them and of course you could see the gloriousness of the shredder this is why I said at the beginning to get a shredder so you don't have to dismount and then remount. Of course, for druids, it's very, very simple. And of course, as I said, that's why you want flying. I did do this when you did have flying, and it was a pain in the ass because not only uh, just time-wise, but also certain mobs and stuff, you are forced to kill some things. But with flying, you can kind of get around it. Now, foreign skaggle is a little bit of a pain in the ass to... Um, to farm just because there's nothing to give you extra farm skaggle. Now what I mean by this is that with some herbs like um, from Suramar to Suramar with the star flower, star, yeah, star flower or high mountain for the fox flower, you have an RNG chance to spawn a mob respective to that zone or whatever and you'll be able to then kill that mob and they'll give you for you know, six star flower or, you know, 20 fox flower or 10 fox flower, whatever the case may be. And you just have that chance to get that little bit extra so your farming is way, way easier and all of that. So, unfortunately, Farm Skagel does not have that, but at least it's a pretty small path, I assume, at least to me, of, uh, you know, of just gathering and stuff like that. You can see me kind of backtracking here a little bit into there but yeah so this is overall the path you want to take for far and i'm not going to show the entire path but you kind of see of how i'm going about it and all of that also this video would be way too long if i showed you the entire path which i did show the entire path but the video actually right now without editing is about 40 minutes long um again time variance will differ and all of that so all right so now we're going to talk about uh fox flowers about to say star flower Fox flowers found in High Mountain, and I'm actually going to show you the map I'm going to take here just in a second. I kind of derped here, but there's a flight point that starts right there. Uh, you're going to have to kind of grab it out of your way to get to uh, this point in which I'm about to show you. Here I'm about to show you the map. So we're in High Mountain. Uh, I think it's like River Fall or something. Right there, there's a there's a flight path. You want to start there and then cross the bridge, and you can see that this path now Fox flower. There's no, there's not a lot of abundance of it like in, uh, um, in Stormheim, like all in one cluster. You kind of have to go a really long route, as you could see there, as I moused over with it. Um, it kind of sucks, especially if you're walking. This was a clear pain in the ass to definitely ride your mountain, but it is again really good with flying and all of that. And unfortunately, if you do have if you're trying to do this without flying, uh, once you clear, I'm going to get to a certain point here, but once you clear this side right here, you're going to have to fly all the way to Sky Point or something. I forget where it is. It's where uh, the High Mountain Chieftain, I forget her name, tells you to go help Skyhorn or whatever they're fucking called. And you have to go, there's a specific flight point there. And then you would fly from all the way over here to all the way over there and then you know, kind of go back onto the path that I've shown. But then again, if you have um, gather mate and you really do go around and gather herbs, you'll kind of um, you'll find uh, your own path and everything else like that. Now, of course, there are there are flower, you know, there are herbs everywhere in each zone, and then a lot of them that I missed, there could be a more efficient path that I haven't found or something. But these are the most efficient and the ones that have been running for me. So that's just my experience ever, to each their own. Uh, one extra thing about Foxflower, um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show it with the time that I'm kind of gating myself in. But, um, what is it? What was I going to say? Shit. Um... You're going to have a fox. So when you herb something... you See, now this is the point. Is where you're going to take that flight path that's over there. And then fly to that one spot. But you can see here I'm going to go here. Uh, go all the way up the mountains and such. But when you herb a node, you're going to get a fox that spawns. They're going to howl. And then they're going to run. And basically you run around and you gather up 
all the herbs and stuff like that. Usually, I think it gives about between 10, 20, something like that. And it's really nice. It gives you that nice big chunk, and it's just really nice. Of course, it's RNG. And, of course, I do have level 3 Foxflower, so I'm gathering more herbs per node. But, yeah. Overall, pretty, pretty good. I think I'm going to get it here. No? Ah, fuck off. But, yeah. So, that's Foxflower in a nutshell. Again, the whole area is a pain in the ass to get around if you don't have flying. So we're going to take a look at Starlight Rose. Now I'm redoing this because I've been calling it Starlight Flower and I kind of noticed throughout uh, the begin, probably throughout this video, I've called it Starlight Flower. Please excuse me, it is 5.30 a.m. So give me a break. And also I can't view it on Sony Vegas that it says Starlight Rose. But Starlight Rose is going to be the biggest pain in the ass you're ever going to farm. Now why is that? Because you only get one star flower per node. And then you have an RNG chance to get a Withered that will probably drop like between 1 and 6 Starlight Rose. Now, this is a giant pain in the ass. A huge pain in the ass. Compared to Foxflower's uh, Farnskagle, it's just, yeah, obviously it's a giant pain. Now, of course, this is why Starlight Rose is very expensive on the auction house. And that's why the prices have been so expensive this expansion. Well, I don't want to say this expansion, but, you know, been very expensive because of that reason. And that's why before flying for, yeah, here, again, example, got the node, and then this guy spawn is going to drop like six or something. Um, but even before flying, and before they added the Blood of Sargeras, uh, 20 flasks were 20,000 gold. It was dope. It was a very, very dope time. Made 600,000 gold off that shit. Pretty good. But, yeah, so you can see why, again, um, I was about to say Starlight, yeah, Starlight Flower or something. Starlight Rose is so precious and that's why i kept saying to go to use old war or try and sell old war because it's something that everyone uses but also it uses the least amount of uh starlight rose and that you can make the most out of all of the resources and the time that you're getting now i'm going to take this opportunity oh wait uh, one thing i want to say about uh starlight rose or again whatever um, is that the co to compensate for getting one no one flower per node? They made a shit ton of nodes. That's why you see on my map and mini map uh, map at the beginning of this clip uh, is that you just saw all the spawn locations. There's a shit ton of spawn locations. There's a shit ton of them there, but it's just to make up for it. So you're gonna have to collect a lot. Just be honest with you, it's a real pain. That's why I use Blood of Sargeras if I get any to get all of the Starlight Rose that I can just to, uh, so it doesn't hurt my time, because I already spend a lot of time jerking off, so I want to, you know, maximize my time, all that good stuff. But yeah, so that's uh, Starlight Rose in a nutshell, you'll see my path here. Uh, some things can be difficult because of mobs, but, you know, uh, there is one other area, so let's say this area is being farmed or whatever, uh, there is... Uh, the flight path that's closest on your way to Stormheim, on the other side of Suramar, if you know that one, I forget what it's called. Uh, that whole entire area right there, use the city as a barrier, don't go in the city, and if you farm right outside there with all the mobs, there's actually quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of uh, nodes there to farm for an alternative farm, but I won't show it here. And yeah, that's Starlight, that's Starlight Rose in a nutshell. Uh... I ain't got nothing else to say except it's a huge pain in the fucking ass. And with this last clip, I'd like to show you basically how much Potion of War I'm going to make. Now, I would like to note that I didn't have enough uh, vials, as you could see, so that's why I said I can only make 40, but I will go out in this clip and buy more and, you know, like a dumbass. But again, as I said, Potion of War is the way to go. You're going to see, uh, or at least you could pay attention to how many I'm making and... I should have probably closed the window. No, it doesn't close the window. Stop the crafting. I think so. I don't remember. But you can see, though, how many times my level 3 traits going to trigger and how many extra potions I'm going to make. Which, again, is going to give you that extra gold to kind of bridge the gap uh, with the other flasks and stuff. But overall, though, again, I made a whole bunch. Again, you can see I, I only get to use one starlight for squeaky chair. One starlight compared to seven. That is a lot more fucking herbs to use and to j just to make gold. Um, but yeah, but as I said, what I believe people should do 
is you should make a whole bunch of Potion of War, then go back out and keep farming flasks until the Potion of Wars all sell, then repeat. Now, if you're tending to make other... Um, to, let's say you want to make the Agility one, the Strength one, or the Stamina one, I'm not going to show it, but I'm just going to kind of tell you because the, 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 those both are very, very easy. For Dreamleaf, cut Valshara in half, like just think of it like from... You know, and then just cut it right in the middle. The southern point has uh, the majority of the dream leaf, especially in the left-hand corner of that bottom section, has a lot of dream leaf. So that's where you kind of want to roam around. And as for Azuna, probably my least favorite zone, um, I would probably say look at Illidari stand, then make a line all the way to the right. So like cutting again in half from Illidari stand, uh, stand, and everything up north. I find, I think, has way more ethereal or whatever it's called than the southern part. But then again, um, I'm not, I've pretty much never farmed that. It's just, again, so abundant. There's, yeah. I don't bother making the, because um, I believe, at least on my server, the intellect and agility and then the old war are the most expensive flask to make i don't bother with the strength or the stamina you should definitely shouldn't bother with the stamina because that one is just so easy to to make because it requires again the two most commonly found herbs that's why it's the mo least expensive and the other ones are more expensive um but yeah i don't farm those i farm dreamly for the whispered but i don't farm ethereal or whatever it's called because of that but yeah, again, it should be very easy to find. Just try and weave in and out, just fly by stuff. And if you're using Gather Mate, you'll be able to easily find and make your own path. And you'll feel a little bit accomplished about, you know, doing all that shit. But as you can see, I'm making a whole bunch of Old War. Uh, did I go out yet? I actually wasn't paying attention because I was just looking off into space. Uh, depending upon this clip, I don't know if I, I think I believe I go back out there and, or have I already done it? I don't know. Gone back out there and got a whole bunch of flasks and came back in to make the rest. But we've made a whole bunch. I don't know exactly how many we made because I'm too lazy to count it. Bad at math and too stupid and I'm a Greek. But yeah, we made a whole bunch. And just I mean, just imagine stacks of 20 for 5,500 gold or even 5,000 gold. It's, it's pretty good. And the extra stack that you get, two or extra two stacks or stack and a half from the, from the level three, it's just pretty good. Pretty good. And also on a side note, um, what I kind of do just to maximize my profits is usually when I'm done for the day or something, I kind of sell whatever herbs that I do have. Like any, I don't never sell any, uh, Starlight Rose, but I sell, if it's a stack of like 150 or 200, something even, I sell those. I sell the seeds too. Again, remember to sell the seeds, sell your flasks and everything else like that. Just sell those along with your stuff and you'll be making all that extra coin and everything else is going to be pretty good gonna be pretty good um anyways guys i want to thank you all for watching um hopefully this helped you out this is a no bullshit kind of thing you really have to put time and effort into making gold there's no magical way of going about it that you're gonna get a rare pet and make 500,000 gold no it can happen but most likely not anyways again thank you all for watching and i hope you enjoyed